Biblical scripture is often dominated by strong male characters, Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, Moses, to name a few. But some of the Hebrew Bible's most captivating figures are female even though they're well, less well-known, and Israeli photographer is about to change that one biblical woman at a time. Meyer Margit met with the artist. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, but in Dikla Laor's case, behind every picture are words that are thousands of years old. The Israeli photographer reimagines female biblical figures and then brings them to life. Meet Tamar, the daughter-in-law of Judah. In the Hebrew Bible, Judah was the son of the patriarch Jacob. Tamar was married to Judah's son, but he died before they had children. She then waited years to be wed to Judah's third son. She wanted to bear children and get married to his son. But when this didn't happen, she decided to disguise herself as a prostitute and seduce Judah. And this is the story I'm depicting here. Laor relies on her extensive library of religious books for inspiration and shoots all of her photos in the Golan Heights, a few miles from Israel's border with Syria. I've taken it upon myself to tell as many stories from the Hebrew Bible as I can. Once I'm finished photographing all the women from the Bible, I'll move on to photographing the male characters. Hagar and Ishmael, Deborah the prophetess, Rachel and Leah. Laor's unique photography brings ancient stories to the modern world. And all of Laor's biblical women have now been reunited at a new exhibition in Tel Aviv at the Zoa Gallery. Her focus on female figures in the Bible is a way of empowering women overall. Dikla herself, even though she has a husband and children, is a very decisive, serious woman. She took very dramatic, but mostly unknown stories from the Hebrew Bible featuring women. Through these women, people can get to know the Bible. But Laor insists she is not trying to give her viewers a religious education. My intention is not to preach, but to make these stories accessible to everyone. I'm also not trying to depict these characters entirely accurately, or as biblical women might have looked at the time dark-skinned Middle Easterners. No, I'm bringing the story to the present and using a Renaissance aesthetic, which I feel a deeper connection to. Others are making the connection as well, as Lower's pictures make their way into art collections around the world. Maya Margit, I-24 News. This is so cool. You know I could talk about like the biblical women all day long, but... It's interesting that she, you know, she basically takes real life models and how does she, you know, figure out and know, you know, how they dress or the way they looked? Yeah, so that's what she told me. She told me it's all based on a fantasy, on her imagination. Uh, it's not trying to be historically accurate. She doesn't use, uh, you know, necessarily figures who might actually physically resemble women from the Bible, darker skin than uh, such and such. So she takes a lot of her friends, women that she meets in the area. She lives right on the border with uh, Syria, at the edge of Israel, basically. Mm -hmm. A very kind of a dangerous awesome. area. Right. A dangerous kind of interesting area that's beautiful, very scenic. And she photographs her women there. It's really amazing. I mean, just looking at this, you really do feel like you're stepping back, back in time. And what a captivating way. But what's interesting is why, you know, why is she, besides the fact that she lives near there, you know, why is she doing it all in one place as opposed to kind of going to the places where some of these women, you know, were known to have lived? Well, I think that's, what's, that's what makes this project very unique. She's not trying to photograph people necessarily, let's say, in the desert or, you know, in the hills, uh, the Judean hills or places where they might have actually been located. But she really sticks to her area because I think that this is very important for her. This is home for her. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to focus on this Renaissance aesthetic, not necessarily on an old biblical aesthetic that would be factually accurate. It really is amazing. And she, you know, and then she was mentioning, like, she's not just trying to be like, oh, I'm all about the women. I mean, she's going to get to the guys yes that's right so do you know like how long you know does, is she planning to do it like imminently once the exhibit is done or she's or when she told me she still has a lot of uh, female biblical figures that she has not yet photographed that's what's interesting about this project is that you can learn about these figures and these characters in the Old Testament that you've never heard about or that some people have never heard about at least those who have not studied right the Old I'm Testament. not the only one that probably yes. has I'm the nerd I'm the nerd I know all so 
with this, you can basically learn about these characters, and she still has many more to go through. So it'll be She's a few very, more years very probably. talented. Yes. Really, that looks like a really fun piece For to sure. shoot. <laughs> Thank you. Sure.